Hey guys, what is up? Is Geo here or True Geo Stellar back again with another video for you guys? Today's story time is going to be a little different. I'm going to be telling you guys about the time I had a three day relationship back when I was in seventh grade. Now, this relationship does count. I'll let you guys decide on that. But let's get into it. So, I'm going to give a little backstory. I knew this girl back when we were in kindergarten. So, me and this girl, we both lived in the same street along with multiple of my friends from school and, you know, obviously from the neighborhood. And being a kindergartner, I had a superhero backpack. I had a Spider-Man backpack. And on the bus, there was this little crevice you know, that my strap fell through for some reason. And I didn't know. And then I started noticing I'm sinking into my seat. I didn't realize I had a girl pulling on my strap. And she did yank it. She was pulling me under. And she managed to pull the whole backpack off of me. Granted, I didn't want to be eaten by the seat. So I went under to grab my backpack and I noticed that this girl went under as well holding onto my backpack. I did ask for it back and she said she would only on the condition that I give her a kiss on the lips. Now, I didn't know what a kiss was. I didn't know what lips was, what they were. What does that mean? And then she grabbed both her hands. She did a little kissy thing. I was like, and I leaned forward because my bus stop was coming by. I only had probably seconds to get my back and I was like you know what go for it I kissed her and she immediately gave it back and you know fast forward about a few years up to seventh grade some of her friends and a couple of her cousins were talking about that day because she made a remark that she wanted to date the kid that she kissed just at least once he just wants to date this guy once and I'm like why is she talking about that now they were going through names and she said no and when she got to me, her friends and her cousins went up to me and they asked me a couple of questions. Now, I was able to describe my backpack and I described what happened. And they were like, no freaking way. You're the guy she kissed. One of the cousins was like, you kissed my cousin? And I'm like, whoa, yes, we were supposed to keep that hidden. But I guess she just wanted to talk about it. So her friends kind of pushed her to date me. And I didn't know on the first day we started the relationship, I pretty much agreed to go out with her and she agreed to go out with me since we wanted to complete this, you know, whole relationship thing. And we only talked on the first day of our relationship, three days, because her friends were throwing in subjects, conversation. They were trying to make a, a good impression for her to have this good impression on me. But because it felt forced, she got awkward and embarrassed. So on the second day, we didn't really talk. We just sat in the same seat in the morning and in the afternoon. And we, you know, we were holding hands. That's the only way for everybody on the bus to realize, oh, these two are dating. But after a while, it it was getting a little awkward. I noticed it. On the third day, she was like talking about some handsome soccer player. And she made this comment and I heard it. I was only a few feet away and she just said, this guy is more handsome than my boyfriend. And for me, that didn't hurt me. I could tell what she was doing. She just kept smiling and she wanted to say something else. And it did look like she wanted to walk towards me, but she just wanted to meet up again at the bus. Well, before we got on the bus, you know, on the third day, she wanted to say something to me before we got on. But she just like, can you follow me to our seat again? I'm like, and she was clenching her fist and put her arms above the seat. And she just wanted to say something. And I told her, hey, it's all right. You don't have to worry. And she was like, I don't feel okay. I feel like we were pressured into dating and I didn't want that. I wanted this to be natural, to be normal about this. I completely understand. You're okay with us breaking up? I told her, it's okay. I don't want to hurt you and I know you don't want to hurt me. But how about this? We break up, but I I'm going to tell that you broke up with me. That should get you some popularity. And she was like, are you sure you want that? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I gave her a hug and I you know, was telling her, it's going to be all right. Don't worry about me. You said you don't want to hurt me and I don't want to hurt you. This isn't hurting me. Hopefully we can stay as friends. And she did agree on that. She wanted us to be friends still, even afterwards. So after all that, we you know we remained friends. We only dated for three days. And our friends, her group of friends and my group of friends, they were shocked that it only lasted three days. 72 hours, they were like, man, I can't believe they broke up. Even after all that, we still remained friends. We got to hang out, you know, only at school. And it was kind of awkward to even try to hang out in the neighborhood. But it is what it is. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this story. 
And if you guys did, hit that comment and hit that subscribe button. I know I said hit three times, but you guys know what I mean. So hopefully you guys have a good morning, a good afternoon, a good night, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.